Good day everyone, this is Maggie B for Apps for iPads and today we're going to take a video look at a revision just put out in the Apple App Store by Viatron, the developer of Notes Plus. Now any of you that follow appsforipads.net regularly know that I am a big user of this iPad app. As you can see I've got lots of notes that I've taken with Notes Plus because right now it's my go-to note-taking application. It is a serious note-taking note-taking application, whether you're using it for personal use, whether you're using it in the classroom, your office, at online webinars, in seminars. It has so many functions and some of them just got better and some of them were just added. So we're going to show you some new options today. If you are not familiar with Notes Plus, you need to acquaint yourself with it because you're doing yourself a big disservice please stop by the website and read our previous articles you can uh, you will be directed to them in our present review and you will see for yourself all the wonderful things that notes plus can accomplish for you when you come into the application if you already own it you're going to notice that it looks a little different you now have a brown leather notebook and don't be fooled, even the icon has changed. We have a brown leather notebook with some styluses crossed over the top of it like pens. And uh, all of the wonderful things that you're used to are still inside of there. But as denoted by the luxurious outside, it is now better than ever. But let's, let's jump right in and show you exactly what is new. If you need to catch up with us, catch up with us on the other videos, but we're going to show you the revised options. So when you come in now, you're going to be in what's called the root folder. And that's one thing that I have been asking all of the note-taking developers for. Let's have some organization because we need organization. Otherwise, I can just use my good old collegiate ruled spiral notebook. It's nice to be able to search by keywords, but we're all used to using folders and notebooks, whether it's in our Windows Explorer on our PCs or if it is in a file cabinet in the office. So Viatron, after much work and consternation, has given us what we asked for. But let's start at the beginning. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take notes. So the first thing you need is a notebook. That would be the lowest level of the organization. So we're going to do that today. And what we're going to do in the root folder is we're going to touch on the plus sign. Now in the past, we modified the titles at the top bar of the notebook. But now we have a wonderful dialog box that pops up and it'll ask us, okay, do you Want a new no notebook name or a new folder name so right here you can start to get organized so we're just going to make a new notebook and we're just going to call it test we're going to tap on the plus sign and it is automatically going to give us a new document a new note okay in, in the past you can go into full view we don't want that i'm going to delete it come on delete and in the past, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I like to work in close-up view. So in the past, I would just touch on the screen where I wanted a, a box to appear. Now we have it automated. So you can go into close-up mode automatically. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you another feature that is fantastic. And we're going to turn on the microphone. And what we're going to do is we're going to do an apps for iPads audio check. And in the past, we could always do audio. You can do long audio. So you can sit in a very long lecture in that hall and you can record everything so you don't miss one thing that the professor says or the person at the meeting says and but the problem was if you, if you had to navigate out of notes plus the recording would stop no longer so we're going to take a hop over here with our new multitasking and we're going to go into safari and as you can see up at the top we have a red bar and it's saying that notes plus is recording we can go to anything that we need to check we want to go check our email 
our Facebook account, our Twitter. Or if for myself, while I'm writing articles, I also do freelance articles for an online publishing company, I can be recording notes as I am navigating around here and it's going to continue to record for me until I go back to Notes Plus. As simple as that. It's still recording and if I turn it off I can show you. Turn on the microphone. And we're, we're going, going to bring to it forward. We can go to anything that we need to check. We want to go check our email, our Facebook account, our Twitter. So you can see it was recording the whole time that I was going back and forth between applications. That is a fantastic option that we now have. But let me let me go back and let me reiterate that I think the organization which took which took Viatron a while to get for us, but it is absolutely fantastic. Let me give you a quick view of how it works and how simple it is. So I have done a note, okay? Now I'm going to touch here again, and I'm going to say I need to make a new folder this time. And we're going to just call it folder. And we're going to tap here, and it's going to give us a new folder. And if we go to the top of the root folder, we now have a folder. So if we tap on the folder, you now see I have nothing in there. But I want to purposely do this because I want to show you that now I can tap on the plus sign and I can say I need to make a folder and I want to make a subfolder. And we tap it. Now we have a subfolder inside of this folder and you'll see that it shows that we have one item. So if you are in, say, a class and you are... Um, studying history. So you're studying war strategies. You can have a history folder. You can have a subfolder that's war strategies. And you can do subfolders, sub, you could do sub-subfolders in those. There is no limit to the amount of depth that you can go in this. And you can have it for each war. You can put the War of Independence, Civil War, First, Second, Third War, whoa, Third War, let's hope we don't have a Third War. But anyhow, you can go as deep as you need to in this. Now, if I go back to my test, and again, if you are, um, you're in a business situation and you have a project, so you have a folder with a project name. Then you have subfolders for each of your departments, for your engineering, your operations, sales, marketing, whatever. And inside of each of those folders, you can again have subfolders so that you can track and anybody can track the project right from within one application. It's, this is absolutely fantastic. So I am now in test. You can see I'm in test here. And if I edit it, I now have the option of either deleting it. I can, let me show you this. This is pretty cool. You can make it read only and write only. You can, better yet, you can make a folder that is read only. And every single notebook that you put in that folder, a person can't even see what the name of the notebook is unless they have your password. So that's pretty cool. Let me show you, it just came to mind, if I'm back in test, let's see where tests go, we're in test right here. If I go into test, I can modify the name right here. Used to be, I have to go um, another step to be able to do this. It's so simple now, it's fantastic. You can modify that right here. But if I check mark that and tell it I want to go to folders, I can either move it or I can copy it. You have the ability, just like you do in Windows Explorer, to do either or, and you can copy it as many times and put it into as many folders as you possibly need to, or you can just move it. And you're gonna tell it, it says move notebook, notebooks, navigate to a destination folder and tap on the move button. So I'm telling it I wanna go all the way down, let's just for the heck of it, say I wanna go all the way down to the subfolder. And now I move it and it is no longer in the root folder, but if I come to the top and I go into folder, you see I have a subfolder 
And if I go into that, there is my notebook with all my notes. And my audio. It's all right there I can be for your use. As I am. Vietron promised, and he's delivering. One wonderful option at a time. So make sure, you owe it to yourself to make sure you look at Notes Plus. It's a fabulous application. It's nothing what Apple ever thought we were going to have on an iPad. Apple thinks that we consume things on iPads. Well, surprise, surprise, we create just as much. And it's becoming fast the most used business tool in the industry. So stop by the website and check it out yourself. This is Maggie B for Apps for iPads. Thanks for stopping by today. We'll see you at the website and sync with you soon.